Hey everyone, Christian here, and I wanted to do a little vlog on how to uh, get rid of mealybugs and scale, and I wanted to provide kind of a, like a video evidence of what, sc what scale mealybugs can look like, and what are the many methods that you can get rid of them. So here we have uh, Latania lantaroides, which is a red, red latan palm, and it has scale along most of the uh, petiole bases here, and also along the flowers here. So um, I'm sorry, not scale, mealybugs. Now you can see here, mealybugs actually are gonna have more of like a fluffy, fuzzy look about them. Scale's gonna be more like spherical and very uh, symmetrical. And the mealybugs, yeah, they just, they look more like a fuzz than they do a, uh, you know, an actual like solitary uh, item. So th they are kind of a pain in the ass. They will cause kind of a little bit of mechanical damage. You can see here that the uh, this leaf is kind of a little bit shortened by it versus the others. This one's a lot longer. It kind of ruins the tomentum on it, and it just it just looks unsightly. So, the first thing you can do is you can manually scrape them off, which is actually a real pain. And I don't recommend it unless you kind of have it on the back of like say just a few uh, leaf, you know, little segmentations here. This is, this is actually not scale. This is just uh, tomentum. Just there's some fuzz that naturally. Uh, and actually occurs on the back side of these leaves of these fronds but um yeah if you want to i mean there's no way to really scrape it off of here the if you're not planning to produce seed on a on a palm like this i'd recommend uh just cutting stuff like this off and taking off any old boots that are uh not you know ha not attached to the palm you know in any sort of hard way if you can cut them off take them off and if you can see here uh, there was an ant there but Ants are often the uh, the movers of mealybugs. They like to move them around as well as scale, and they bring them all into the crown. You can see in here, actually, it's kind of bad as well. And so the next thing that I often do when I have a scale issue is I will actually use Dawn dish detergent mixed in a solution of water. This, you only need like an ounce or two per gallon. And what it does is, you know, it basically, um, it sticks to the to the actual bugs, the insects, I should say. All right, yeah, same thing. Uh, and uh, it will basically uh, hold them still. They can't move around. They end up dying, and they will just kind of fall off. Now, this is it is very effective effective a lot of the time. But sometimes when you have such a bad infestation, you kind of have to go to the next level. The next level for next level for things like that are going to be like neem oil. Uh, not too. It's it's not that aggressive, and it's not that toxic. And it, it, I, I don't, there's organic versions of it as, as well. And basically it's just an oil that's very pungent. It uh, kind of hits the, the bugs and I believe it kind of fries them in a way, but it doesn't work well in hot weather. So if it's, if it's summertime out here in Florida and you try and spray in the full sun, the oil's gonna kind of separate. It's not gonna work very well. So you wanna apply it when it's drier, maybe at nighttime. So um, there's also uh, a final level, which I prefer not to use, it's a little more toxic and it's a little more expensive. Uh, there's a there's uh, a brand there's a product called Merit, and it comes in a powder. You mix a, a little bit into like one gallon or a liter. You know, if you're in the metric area, which is probably most of you, most people outside of the U.S., and you can basically uh, just you know douse it. You want to get all in the. Tr you want to make sure when you uh, when you when you spray whatever you use or douse drench I should say um, get it all in the crown make sure you get all anywhere where they can hide they love to hide so get it all in the crown there most a lot of it will come out the bottom here in a non crown shafted palm you know if you're gonna keep these flowers on or flowers on any palm you're gonna want to just kind of get inside these little sheaths here make sure it gets all inside because if they hide somewhere and they don't get hit with it they won't die and they'll come back they're very good at reproducing they're like the cockroaches of uh, of, of the plant world. They like to kind of just hide anywhere. Or that though, I guess cockroaches are kind of the cockroaches of, of the plant world, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, you know, getting on top of that will definitely help your palm get back to its full health in, uh, in some time. And there's many methods to it. Just that some are more aggressive than others. It depends on what you want to use. Merit and those chemical, you know, the, the more expensive, more aggressive chemicals are usually used for more, uh, commercial applications most residential uses uh, use neem oil or the dawn detergent and also if you want to kind of keep uh, in, like stuff like ants away from the base of your palm to keep mealybugs from coming up in the first place 
you can uh, douse the base with, with uh, coffee grounds. Now, I recommend that for, for most palms. Palms that like alkaline soils will, won't like it as much, but it won't hurt them. And it was often used, like we used it a lot uh, at Fairchild, um, you know, 10 years ago. It was a lot easier to get a hold of used coffee grounds. Like Starbucks would just give them to us in like these five pound buckets. And you could, we could just throw it, you can throw it all over the plant if you want. But uh, it, it acidifies the soil and most bugs can't handle like that acid kind of coming out. I mean, it's not, a, it's not like uh, dangerous to you. It just, as an insect, it just, they don't want to get doused in that sort of like coffee concentrated juice sort of thing. Here's some of the ants, if you can see them moving back and forth. I, I forget why exactly they love doing this so much, but they, they, they're very friendly with the, uh, with the mealy bugs. Can't see, I can't seem to find any good uh, examples of scale on here, but at least I can show you, you guys what, what the uh, mealy bugs look like and uh, kind of an idea of how to get rid of them. But scale, um, you know, will often be, you can use the same products on and there's white scale, there's black scale. It looks like little black marks or white marks, depending on what kind of scale you have. And it can be on more than just palms. It can be on bromeliads, uh, pretty much anything with, uh, with soft tissue on them, essentially. So anyway, that's about it for uh, discussing how to get rid of mealybugs here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And you'll see many more uh, videos about palms and other palm-related topics. You have any questions about scale and how to get rid of them hopefully they were answered in this youtube video if they weren't leave a comment down below and i'll try and answer it to the best of my ability and i'll see everyone next time thanks for watching